Hey, you viewers, welcome back to Andy's Garage. Hey, uh, today I'm gonna do a little different video. Uh, the other day I had to replace a capacitor on my uh, AC condensing unit. Sorry for my voice, I've been under the weather the last couple days. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> got me to thinking. Uh, I thought about making a video on how you uh, test these capacitors. Uh, in in the shop here, you're gonna you know run it, in, and in your house, you're gonna run into two basic type of uh, capacitors. <clears throat> you're gonna run into something like this. It's a double, uh, as you can see. It's a 55 microfarad and a seven half microfarad, and then you're gonna have like you know your single ones. You know this one's a 15 microfarad. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna take these back over here to the bench and show you how to test them. Hey viewers, all right. Uh, I was saying earlier, these are the two basic types of capacitors you're going to find, you know, around your house in your shop. Like I said this is a dual and this is a single. This mainly like for motors and stuff, but this is for, uh, the center there for AC, uh, outdoor AC condenser unit. Because you got your fan and you got your, uh, Compressor. <clears throat> like, excuse me, man. My voice is like terrible today. Anyway, this is a uh, 15 microfarad. Okay. Now on these uh, capacitors, if you just you know you feel like they're energized or whatever, just find some kind of a piece of metal and you know sort them out like that. Would you energize them? Anyway, <clears throat> back to testing. Like I said this is 15 microfarad. And it's a plus or minus six percent. So uh, when you do the math, <clears throat> if you're going to be minus six percent, that's uh, 0 0.9 microfarads, which brings it to 14.1. So it doesn't matter on these which uh, terminals you connect your uh, leads to. So we'll just stick that on there, and as you can see, that's a 15.2 microfarads. Okay, and this is rated for 15 with plus or minus 6%. So when we look at this again, 15.2, we're within spec on this because the lowest it can be, like I said, minus 6% is 0.9 microfarads. So the lowest it can be uh, before it's considered bad. 14.1 microfarads. Uh, then on the other end of the spectrum, if you're plus six, you know, the 0.9 microfarads, you're at 15.9, and this was at 15.2. So this would be considered a good capacitor. Now, if it were uh, four, it, the low end is 14.1. So if there were a 14, <clears throat> eh, eh. You know, uh, it might get away with it. Uh, same thing on the high side. If it were a 16, yeah, you'd be running real close to it. You know, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But if it were, if you tested it and it was completely dead or tested out at like a uh, 13 and a half or something like that, yeah, absolutely garbage. All right. Now, this one here, like I said it's a dual. That's for this one here, the 55 microfarad, that's for the compressor, and then the seven and a half, that will be for your uh, uh, fan. So you do the math. <clears throat> so at 55 microfarads, and this one here is plus or minus 6%. So 6% of 55 is 3.3. .3. So this can test out as low as a 51.7. Or as high as a 58.3. <clears throat> now on the other uh, side of this, the seven and a half at six percent, you know, plus or minus, that's 0.45. So the lowest this 7.5 can be is 7.05, and the highest it can be 
is 7.95. So lowest is 7.05, and then the highest is 7.95. So you can see on here that these uh, uh, terminals are marked. This one here is for the compressor, and then this one over here is for the fan, obviously for the fan. And then this one here is just the common. So <clears throat> I can tell you right now, this thing is not going to test out at all. It is going to show absolute zero, no matter which terminal we put it on. <clears throat> so that's another thing that shows zero then you know it's bad because you can see no matter which terminal i stick it on one for the fan or the one here for the uh compressor it still shows zero <clears throat> the reason for that is it literally blew its top which this is common to happen this is very common for these things to uh bulge out like that and usually if they bulge out like that they are no good they are finito they're going to show absolute zero when you go to test them <clears throat> and you may be asking what's a capacitor well this is what a capacitor is Well, folks, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, I might look at it real quick. This is a Fluke 115. Uh, this has turned out to be a really good uh, multimeter for me. Uh, it does everything I need it to do, so especially uh, with the uh, testing of the capacitors. That's the main reason why I stuck with this Fluke 115. Because on a lot of these meters, they don't have that option to test uh, like resistors and uh, Capacitors, because that's what this symbol here is for. Right here, that is that tells you that this is you know uh, test resistors. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, you ever have an AC system, your outdoor condensing unit doesn't want to fire up, it's not running. Always check this because these are very common to go out. Uh, <clears throat> these types you're going to see on motors that are in. Uh, air handlers you might you're gonna oh and you're gonna see these especially you're gonna see these in uh ac units for campers because <clears throat> i have <clears throat> whatever reason i'm nerd weird whatever i actually carry capacitors in my truck with me and it's actually come in handy because we've been out camping before and people's ac systems were not operating and it was the fan that wasn't kicking on because i mean the capacitors weren't this big they were a lot smaller and he's about the size of his label uh, but anyway capacitors were bad so uh and on these capacitors actually you can go a little bit higher than what the motors and stuff come with you don't want to go any smaller because it's not going to fire up so uh just like this one here uh it's 55 and seven and a half and i believe that the one that this replaced was a 45 and a seven and a half. It's always okay to go up just a little bit. You never want to go down. So, but you do want to, if you're going to replace them, you want to get that exact capacitor that the motor, AC condensing unit, whatever it is, whatever it costs for, you want to get the right one. But if you're in a bind, you know, you're out and about, this is the only capacitor you can find. It's okay to go a little bit bigger. Anyway, that's going to end this video. And I do hope that this was helpful for someone. And if it was, like, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.